It has been three months since the re-release of Maiden of Blackwater. I am sure some of you are wondering how well did the game sell? Was it enough to bring more remasters or even a brand new game? Well, the numbers are in. But before we get to that, I want to give a special thanks to you. Yes, you, the viewer. The last Fatal Frame video I made got such a beautiful response from so many different people. I really think it's amazing that there are still so many devoted fans to this series. I will continue to do my best to cover any Fatal Frame news I come across. In case you are new here, I do cover anime reviews, general gaming news, and cover conventions as well. So you should consider subscribing if any of that sounds interesting. Just so you know, even if you don't subscribe, I am happy you clicked on this video. And the reason why is I am happy that you are keeping the conversation of Fatal Frame alive. So thank you. All right, enough of the fluffy stuff. Let's get to the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am Ryofu and you are watching The Gaming Harbinger. With this video, I'm gonna hit you with two articles. The first one comes from Nintendo Life. All of us Fatal Frame fans have been wondering, how well did the remaster of Made in Black Water do? It took a while, but we finally have some numbers. The reason why the numbers have come out is because Koei Tecmo's fiscal year has come to an end and that is why the numbers are being revealed to us. Between the very end of October, December 21st, the game has sold over 340,000 copies across all platforms. If you aren't sure if these numbers are good or bad, let me tell you, let me be the guy to tell you, these numbers in this short amount of time are really good. I don't think there has been any game in the series that has sold this amount in its debut. Of course, that is a tad unfair since Fatal Frame spent some time locked to PlayStation, some time passes and then two of the games went to Xbox, more time passes and then Nintendo become co-owners of the property. Anyways, the remaster is on everything so there is obviously more opportunity for sales. Now when you compare the numbers to other games, this would still be solid numbers for a niche title or an indie game. Not so good for a AAA title. Nowadays when we don't hear millions upon millions of copies being sold, as opposed to thousands of copies, we think, oh my god, it's not doing well. But rest assured, this series has always been niche and it's always had a modest budget. So it is safe to say the fans came through. And just imagine there were people that didn't purchase this because of it being digital only. While I do believe this group is a small minority, it still means the numbers would have been even higher if there were a physical release in Western territories. But seriously, we did it. Congratulations, pat yourself on the back. This is a good number and I am curious what it will be by the end of the year. Now let's move to the second article. At the end of 2021, 4 Gamer featured a tease to what was to come from Koei Tecmo in 2022, releasing its full power, so to speak. Yosuke Tukuchi stated that the Fatal Frame team is tackling development on something it's never done before. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I hit you with the good news at the beginning, I'm sorry. But this? I don't think it's a new Fatal Frame game, unfortunately. He said something they had never done before. This sounds like a new IP. It could be a new next-gen horror game? Maybe. Or something not horror related? Also possible. I think if, and only if it's a Fatal Frame game, it would be a remake or a reboot and possibly some kind of weird spinoff. Even though they have done Fatal Frame games before, they have never remade or rebooted anything. It would be starting from scratch minus basic mechanics. I don't want to get everyone's hopes up, I'm just being honest. I think it's more likely this is a new IP. 
I don't think it would be worded as never done before if it were just more ports of the older game. Sorry. Which, by the way, I could see more ports coming in the future. I just don't think it's what they are talking about in this particular instance. Regardless, I will still give a new IP a shot because I think this team makes interesting games. While I would prefer another Fatal Frame game, I would be very curious as to what new exciting project they are working on. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for me. Congratulations on making this remaster a success. We did it. I am sure Koei Tecmo and Nintendo are trying to decide what to do with the next Fatal Frame project. I will continue to keep you posted on this topic. Thank you for watching and supporting the number one, and I said that, you heard me, the number one place for Fatal Frame news. Take care and have a good day.